a chance of a strike line. Junior power! Junior power! ILA spokesperson Derek Perry. We're standing in solidarity and just like we, we want to work under a new contract because we have to know that our future is intact. We have people here, their sons work here, their daughters work here. It is about the future of where our job lies and will we have a future if automation keeps coming into play. We found Beatrice Harris outside the Virginia International Gateway Port. They don't understand the sacrifices we make. We work in inclement weather, the rain, the snow, and I, just the other day, we worked in a hurricane watch. They are out here protesting against the U.S. Maritime Alliance that represents the major shipping lines. Perry says the port is just caught in the middle. Well, it has a lot to do with the ship line. The ship line is who we're striking. The port just happens to be in the in-between, and they happen to be the resident. So... It is, it is differences. There's a difference there. Negotiations continue through the night with counteroffers related to wages. The ILA reports the Shipping Alliance increased ILA's offer and requested an extension of the current master contract. ILA calls it a positive movement and hopes to fully resume collective bargaining. ILA also looking to increase wages by nearly 50 percent, triple employer contributions to employee retirement plans, and strengthen health care options. It gives people a future to look forward that they may have a job. No different from if you go in the store and you see uh, cash registers that are not manned, that also means that workers aren't on the schedule anymore. You, you saw that during COVID. Yeah, and we are now getting rained here. I wanted to bring up, we brought it up in the beginning there, President Biden has said that he will not interfere at this time in the strike. He has the power to do that through federal legislation. Governor Yunkin just moments ago put out a statement saying that's exactly what he should do, that this strike can cost too much, as we know, $4.5 billion a day, and he says it is costing Virginia. So he's calling on the president to do something. In Portsmouth, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Andy, thank you. People have already started buying and storing items they think might be in short supply soon because of the strike. Ten on your side got these pictures from inside the BJ's Wholesale Club on Power Plant Parkway in Hampton. We saw long lines and items like tissues, paper towels and toilet paper being bought up.